After all these years, finally, for the first time, we have the great Jackson Shipley in the Longhorn Network Studios to catch up to talk about the degree and about Shipley performance as well. First off, let's talk about that degree. We saw you get that a couple of weeks ago. What did that mean for you to get the degree from the University of Texas? I think it's huge. You know, when you, when you talk about going to a place like Texas, you know, that also includes a degree as well. And so it's not just about the football side of things. You know, you go there to get that degree. And so for me, having been, um, I, didn't, I didn't redshirt, so I played, you know, my first four years. Um, I still had six hours left when I went and trained at Michael Johnson Performance in Dallas. And so I wasn't able to finish my degree until I was, you know, done playing. And so first thing I did um, after I got released by the Cardinals was I came back home and I talked to my academic advisor and got enrolled for classes in the spring. And so it was something that I had, I had set as a goal for myself. When I first signed that dotted line to come here, I, wanted to, I knew I wanted to get my degree, um, but it didn't, it didn't end up happening exactly the way I wanted to, but yep. I'm just happy to, to have that over with. Well, congratulations, because you, you did get it done, and I know it must be a strenuous process, being a student athlete, then going pro, and trying to finish that degree. What is the most challenging part of getting a degree with all that you have to do and all those responsibilities? Yeah, I think it's just kind of really setting aside that time to go back and, and do that because it's not just it wasn't just an online class for me you know I'm on campus um, four days a week and I have a, a wife I have a one-year-old son and so it's kind of balancing that and making that kind of a priority in a sense that you know I'm not going to be skipping classes I'm not going to be doing this and that I'm going to go to class and I'm going to give my best effort to try to, to not only just pass but make good grades this last semester as well. Let's talk about your newest endeavor because we see the sweet gear awesome logo Shipley performance mm -hmm. What is that? So Shipley Performance is something I started in January, um, and it's, it allows me to be able to work with mainly re wide receivers, the same position that I, that I uh, played, obviously, but also just different skill players. Um, and, you know, it, it has to do a lot with technique and fundamentals and just teaching those guys stuff that I didn't learn until I got into college or even beyond that in the NFL. And so I spend time kind of coaching those guys up and, and giving them tips and techniques that they can use right now. Why aren't more people focusing on that specific position in this day and age with so many quarterback gurus? Why aren't more people tapping into the art of catching the football and getting open to catch the football? Yeah, it definitely is an art. It's something that it takes a lot of time to, to kind of, I don't, wouldn't say master that because I don't know that anybody's really a master at it. You know, it takes a lot of practice. Um, there's a ton of, um, you know, hours being put in just beyond the practice field you know, playing for your team or whatever, there's, there's got to be a lot more being put into that. And so for me, I think there's just been, uh, I've seen a lot of quarterback, quarterback guys um, work with a lot of these, these high school quarterbacks, middle school quarterbacks and everything, but you just don't see a whole lot of people working with receivers. And I found that kind of strange because there are obviously more receivers than quarterbacks on yeah. the team. And so for me, I, I saw it as an opportunity, mainly just to give back. That's initially what it started with, was I just wanted to get back in the flow of being around football. And so I started working with a few kids. They started telling their friends. They started telling their friends. And then before I knew it, it kind of blown up a little bit. And so it's been, it's been fun for me, a good opportunity to be able to work with those guys. And you are so detail-oriented. Let's get into the details of the position and how you learned that. Who, who taught you the little nuances of playing the receiver position? Um, you know, I learned a lot, obviously, from my brother growing up, having watched him play and, and him working with me. But I think it was mainly when I, when I got to the NFL with the Arizona Cardinals, um, you know, everybody knows Larry Fitzgerald. And you probably think he, he wouldn't give anybody the time of day, a new rookie walking in that's, you know, a free agent. But, and that's, that's initially what I thought. I thought that he wasn't going to give me the time of day, even though I'd heard he was a nice guy. But he really took me under his wing and uh, showed me a lot of things that made him successful. And so, you know, you get to see the work ethic that's put in. And it doesn't take more than five minutes to realize wow, okay, now I understand why this guy's so successful. Because the attention to detail is unmatched. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. And there are small tips and tricks and techniques that this guy uses that it can only come from experience. You know, and so for me, I felt grateful and fortunate to be able to learn from a guy like him. Obviously, it didn't, it didn't work out long term for me playing in the NFL, but in that one year that I was there, year and a half, I learned more about football and specifically the receiver position that I had learned in a lifetime. And it was, it was unbelievable. And now you're taking all those lessons, you're paying it forward, you're working with really every age group you can imagine. How does the approach and what you try to stress and teach change with those different age groups? Uh, you know, when you start with the young kids, it's more so about the basics of, you know, 
one, just footwork in general, but then two, starting to learn about the basics of the position. Okay, what kind of stance do I need? What do I do with my hands? How do I catch the ball? You know, what do I do uh, when the ball's in the air? You know, how do I, how do I go about making a, making a play? And so it's, it's pretty basic at the very beginning with the younger kids. And as you get older, you get to work more advanced, te advanced techniques because the kids, obviously their attention spans are a little longer. Some of them are more driven the older that they get and they really want to succeed on the football field. And they know that it takes a lot of discipline, hard work, and really being a master at your craft or at least working towards that. And so for me, it just only increases and gets more advanced the older that the kids get. And so, you know, you start out basic and then you just, you build on that and it gets more complex. And you stress to all the guys you work with trying to become a complete receiver. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to be a complete receiver? I think a complete receiver, you can't only just run routes. You can't only just catch the ball. You can't only just block. You know, you can't only just be the guy who goes up for a jump ball. You can't only be a guy who takes a screen to the house. You can't only be a guy who can run these intermediate routes. You know, I think a complete receiver is someone who can do all of those things. At any given time, you put him on a field, he can take that screen and take it to the house. He can take the deep ball down the field. You know, he's polished as a route runner. He makes those big catches when people don't think that he can make them. And even beyond that, I think it, it comes down to the mental side of things. And I think it's neglected um, at the position. Is people just a lot of times think it's all about your skill set. Well, I think more importantly, it's all about what's between your ears, you know, and, and how you think about it. And there's a, there's a mental side of it that I think plays the biggest role in success of a wide receiver. And knowing that when you line up against a guy across from you, that you're going to win that rep every single time. You have, you have to be confident. And it's not in an arrogant way, but it's, it's knowing that when you line up, I've got the ability to beat this guy and I have a plan to beat the guy across from me. And then when the ball's in the air, there's no doubt in your mind that you're going to make the catch because if you have, you know, one little inkling of doubt, you know, most of the time it's, it's not going to work out in your favor. So there's so much that goes into it beyond just, you know, just being a, a fast guy or a guy who can get in and out of his cuts. It's a complete receiver to me is one who can put all those things together and go out there and, and just make big plays. And it looks like Colin Johnson could be the next guy to put that all together here at the University of Texas and be the next great Longhorn receiver. You've worked with him a little bit. You've been around him. You've seen him play. What makes you believe that he has the potential to be along the lines of some of the greats that we've seen here in Austin? Yeah, I've, I've been very impressed with Colin, and he's a kid who I had the privilege to work with along with uh, Armani Foreman, John Burt, and then uh, Gerard Hurd as well. I think all those guys are going to be going to be great players. Um, Colin Johnson just has a little bit of an advantage when it comes to obviously his height. He's, yeah. he's what is he six six? Yeah. Um, can move, you know, like a slot receiver. And so there's just something about him that paired with, you know, his drive. You know, you can just see it when you're around the guy. He's got a goal in mind and he's going after it. And you know, as you could tell in the spring game, he made some huge plays, which I I knew that was coming because. I'd seen it every day, you know, every day that you go out to practice and you watch those guys. There's just, there's something that's special about him. And I, you know, I don't want to, you know, predict the future, but I see big things coming from him. And like you, he's been around the game because of his pops for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. Jackson, thanks so much for stopping by. Best of Absolutely. luck with Shipley Performance and congratulations. Thank you on very the much. Degree. I really appreciate it.